Hello, welcome to Vulture Pleasures. Here we are again with yet another lot of German stamps from the bag that keeps on giving. Again, this is uh, from Goodwill. This, I think, is part number six of this video. We're going to uh, dig into more uh, stamps this time. Um, I've cherry-picked out some groupings like last time. This time I think it's going to be a lot of uh, East Germany and Soviet zone. Uh, so, uh, but there'll be others mixed in there. In fact, here's a French zone, right? So, uh, French zone right off the bat, top corner. Then we have uh, a DDR. Let's uh, let's steal this corner now for DDR or East Germany. Uh, I don't think we'll have too many officials this time. Here's another uh, Olympics, uh, 1950, 1956, excuse me, Olympics from the DDR. Torch rings and uh, looks like an olive branch there. And here's another 56. This time a javelin thrower. Very nice. Here's one that looks like it has a little more. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, it's uh, it's Germany there or West Germany and or East Germany, I should say, and uh, some flowers being carried by a man. Here we have a globe and wing again DDR. Uh, Looks like a CTO to me. Yeah, CTO cancel with uh, gum still on the back. This looks like probably an older uh, DDR semi-postal. If I had to guess, not that 58 is, is fresh either. That's a little bit older as well. And then again, 56 is, yeah. So uh, some nice earlier um, stamps. A few more of these French Zone ones. I grabbed these as well as I was cherry picking uh, because I figured it was a good time to uh, get them out since I just did a big bunch of them in the previous video. Uh, these were stragglers most likely in the bag. So another word in Berg. Am I staying? Yeah, I'm staying on screen. I have, uh, you don't quite see it. I said a few things that didn't match off to the side to use either later in the video if I have space or save for a later video. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, some more, so Rhineland plots. Rhineland plots, 75. Rhineland plots, 15. More and more in the second column here. 24. Certainly a wealth of these in this bag. We made, you know, half of the last video was these. So a couple before that, and uh, seems like maybe a, a, a fifth of this video so far. So I'm a Wartenberg 3, Wartenberg 10. There were less Wartenbergs uh, in the previous video than some of the other areas, so maybe we'll see more Wartenbergs here. In fact, I see another Wartenberg. Uh, room for one more under each of those, right? There's a Baden, a nice gray 2. Bible on it. Then we have some State of Berlin. And here's some Soviet zone. I'm going to leave a space because I think we're going to see some overprinted State of Berlin. Here's a Thurigen. Another Thurigen. And here's an Allied zone. Just add that over here for now. Thurgen. Uh, I'll get a finger in there. These are going to be hard to separate. There we go. A 3 from Baden and a 10 from Baden. I'm going to start on the bottom there and work up to the Berlin. Uh, Deutsche Post. This is going to be Soviet zone as well. There's a nice chunk of them. Here's the overprinted. Print. I mean, it, being how tightly these are stacked, I may have definitely taken too many to fit here, but we'll see how it goes. Germany is probably, in my opinion, the most complex country to work with. Some might argue China, and I guess I'm not well enough informed as I... Um, haven't had the energy to learn uh, Chinese stamps uh, or anything that looks like a Chinese stamp. 
uh, one of these days. Uh, I figured I would uh, challenge myself with Germany uh, first. Um, I mean, I collect worldwide, but I, I focus on Germany um, as, as my challenge area because it is so complex. Uh, let's see, now we have this one here without the overprint, so I'll match it one for one there. Do I have a fifth? Yeah, here we go. I can do the same thing here. And I just noticed that I had another one under here. Uh, so let's see here. Maybe what I'll do is bring that down here for ease of moving things. Do that. Here I have a 24. Let's see, a 20. Yeah, this is working well. It's all good until you run out of space. And, and I said we might not have any officials, but there we go. There's an official. Uh, let's see, an 80. And I believe that's part of that series. These are a different Soviet zone, I believe. And some of the others, there's quite a few different Soviet zones that are broken out in the catalog. And again, because I haven't focused on them recently, I am not at all up to date. So these are just typical German Empire here, a nice early one with a wonderful cancel from 1883. Gonna have to look that one up, that looks great. Here's a used official. Okay, and I have officially run out of space here for these. So I will start new, even though, here, I'll move the Thurgens. Move the Thurgens, put that next to that, move this guy over as well. Actually, the 60. It's probably one we haven't done yet, so I'll leave him there. Hoping to find his match. There's the 40 match. Here's another Berlin, this time with uh, what they call the zigzag stitch or, or perforation. I believe they most of these come in both. Here's yet another zone, or possibly the same zone as this, but I'll put it here because it's a different series at least from Soviet zone. Now here's some overprinted Berlins, so maybe let's, um, let's do the same thing we're doing over here with the Berlins. and see if we can match them up. An overprinted Berlin. I've got two facing each other. What's it gonna be? A regular Berlin. Oops. But you know what? Those are not a match. That is a match. I'm gonna pull these down. Do that. And another Berlin. Another Rhineland Platz. Part of that series. Again, this I believe is Soviet zone as well. Where do we put this? Maybe right down here for now. Oh look, these two came out in order. Wonderful. More of that series. A giant Wurttemberg, wonderful. I do not. I have a, quite a few of the smaller size ones, but very few of the larger ones. So that's exciting to find. It's kind of neat matching these one for one. Now this one looks like maybe a different paper there, but both with an overprint. This one with the overprint. Another one of these with the overprint. Ah yes, and there are quite a bit of these very large stamps in this one. So that's a 50 plus 25. This one now, I have never seen. I'm going to put it here. I believe it's going to be Soviet Zone. And I am going to pause to take a look because I'm very interested in it. Well, I'm glad I paused to look this one up. I'm pretty excited to have found it. This is actually the very first DDR, or East German stamp, 1949. And we see the October 1949 postmark in there. Um, wonderful, wonderful stamp. Uh, it's listed in my slightly obsolete catalog. Uh, it's a 2018 catalog for 24 euro, maybe roughly 30 US dollars. Uh, so to me, that's a very high value stamp. Um, and I know I don't have it because I've never even seen it before. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited right now. Um, I'm also excited about these. These are generally, uh, these large format stamps of this style are generally quite common, but there could be a few, um, 
slightly more rare ones in the lot and certainly I think there's a few here in fact if I dig deeper no this is not this is not another one in fact this is a um, German Empire stamp but also quite nice um, there's a lot of propaganda in that stamp but interesting and I, I probably don't have that either um, any other big ones here I thought I had seen some I'm just uh, peeking ahead at all yeah there's a couple other big ones while we're here so I'll lay them out and then I'll talk about them let's see maybe just one more oh, two more three more I guess I'm gonna take over a lot of real estate here the 50 and as I mentioned in a previous video you get these moist and they will moist or too dry and they will curl like you wouldn't believe uh, so definitely keep them flat keep them dry but not too dry and uh, and you'll be happy these of course have been kept wonderfully um, this one appears to have quite a bit of toning I don't know or maybe it's on brown paper I'm not sure um, certainly darker than most of the rest although very uniformly dark so maybe it's on darker paper um, my catalog will tell me that so I have to practice my German so we have a 50 a 75 from uh, 48 and 47 respectively a 12 from 47 um, that is uh, 16 plus 9 from 48 24 plus 26 from 47, uh, a 60 plus 40 from 47, and a 50 plus 25 from 48. This is the only used one. It does appear to be legitimately used, I believe. Um, yeah, no gum on the back. What a neat set. So, big stamps can be fun. While we're here and talking about big stamps, I have another uh, large format one here, Baden. Uh, one mark. So we have a one mark from Baden, a one mark from Wartenberg. Pretty neat. Uh, Rhineland Platz. Let's see. I think we have. We do not have this set out here anywhere. No, I'm not finding it. So I will add it sort of in the middle here, as I, uh, I believe it's the same uh, Soviet zone as the ones above it, even though it's a different series. Here we have another DDR. I'm just going to put it down here. We saw this one in the last video. And another DDR. I will just keep doing the border here. Pretty excited. I see a pink one down here off screen. I will pull it up. I think I know what this is. Bear with me. It's under a couple stamps. There we go. I think this is Mecklenburg. Again, a Soviet zone. Um, and they're a little bit smaller. Um, small series of stamps uh, from here. Pretty neat to find. Uh, happy to see it. I'm going to put it with Thurigen because I don't think I see any Thurigen, any more Thurigen stamps here. And I see a couple I'm going to save for next time that I'll set aside. Just because I have more of that series in the next video, I think. Here we have another from that series that slipped in. Here's an Allied Zone. I'll uh, slide it up here for now. Uh, a Mint Soviet Zone. Beautiful five mark stamp. I think we have another French zone. Yep, Wartenberg 84 Fenning, big one there. And uh, I'm going to just uh, continue with Baden over here across the bottom, I'm getting to the end of this video. Um, here's another DDR, East Germany, and a Rhineland Platz. Uh, let's see, a Germany proper, German Empire. Put that one up there. West Germany, I'm making a mess here. I'm going to save these for next time as well. Another Rhineland Platz. Another Baden. This goes up here in the Allied Zone. Allied Zone. Two more from the Allied Zone. We saw a good example of those in the last video. Another Baden. Rhineland Platz. More of these than I expected to have here. Another Allied Zone. I'm going to be looking this one up in a minute, but let me lay out the last three stamps first. This looks like an early West Germany. It's a semi-postal, so uh, have high hopes for a rarer stamp there. And let's see, we do find a match between those two. And a match between those. Uh, actually, no, that's a 80 and that's a 12. We don't see that 12 anywhere yet. Okay and that one belongs up there so let's pause here 
and look up this 10 plus 5 from um, uh, most likely the 50s of West Germany. It is indeed October 1st, uh, 1952, and has a catalog value of 8 euro, maybe roughly 10 US dollars. Uh, that changes daily, of course. Um, what a what a fun set. Um, particularly love these large ones, and uh, and probably the winner here, in my opinion, not because of its value, but because I've certainly I've not even seen it before, uh, much less um, owned it. Uh, is this early uh, first uh, stamp of East Germany? So that's going to be uh, you know a favorite from from this lot, if not a favorite from the entire bag. Um, really exciting find. Thanks for watching.